Hello, I'm DeathSeeker512, and in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to generate your block that you've made in the previous tutorials. If you haven't watched them, then go and watch those. Alright, so this tutorial is going to be relatively simple. Um, so make a new class, and name it something like World Generator Tutorial. I guess, I don't know, Which, what, what do you want to name it? Just as long as people can figure out what it is. <laughs> Alright, so as soon as that gets up, which as soon as I say that, now, and then you want to have it implementing iWorld generator. And then import that. Or wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, as I said, implement. <laughs> I world generator and then do the unimplemented methods after you import it. I don't know why it wasn't letting me, but whatever. So, in here, what we want to do is put a switch statement. Um, yeah. Of course, I think I read somewhere that the switch statement doesn't work on servers but I'm not 100% sure but in any case what we want to throw in here in the switch statement is world dot provider dot dimension ID and then so case one we wanted to call the the generate end method which will take a uh, that then random then chunk x times 16 and then chunk z times 16 as well now I've seen somewhere where the person had the nether and the end flipped not going to say names and then case 0 what we want to put here is the generate surface and of course these are giving us errors because we haven't made them so just copy the same thing and then case negative one which will be the end we will have to do generate nether well not have to but you know and then let's create these methods so I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> so I even said I uh, wasn't going to do that. And then surface. <laughs> yeah, no. You don't have to like change that if you didn't already make that mistake. And then I will just move this to there and this to there and then the nether I probably should have done <laughs> thought about it before I did that B and I can show you F to why is it 
Oh boy. Um. Mm hmm. The roof. Then control shift F to format it. Yay. Get rid of that. <laughs> and that. And that. Uh, those are all cleaned up. We are going to change this to chunk X with a lowercase c. And then chunk Z. Also with the lowercase c. Wow. I am going a lot slower than what I started off at. And then you can just copy and paste those there. That way you don't have to type it so many times. And so here comes the fun part. For int i equals zero. I is less than, and then the like rarity of the ore, I believe stone is like 16 so to make it really easy to find i will make this 50. <laughs> and then i plus plus if you don't know what a for loop is or a switch statement then you might want to actually you know go out and learn java <laughs> um i might be making java tutorials eventually probably after this series but yeah, let's continue doing this. Then what we want is int chord, the x equals random dot next int. then 16 inside of there plus chunk X and then it's pretty much going to be the same thing for Z set Z here and again the same thing for Y except you're gonna to have to get rid of chunk and then over here why now instead of 16 what you want to do is put at what level you want your ore to start spawning at I'm just going to do 64 in this case because it'd be relatively high and after that I believe is when you have to call the one function that I just forgot I'll be back in a second Okay, so in parentheses, new world gen. Sorry about that. Anyway, mineable. Yeah, I just got done making brownie mix, so. <laughs> It'll be done in like maybe half an hour. <laughs> but that you guys don't care about my social life. So then parentheses there, and then your mod name or at least the main class dot block well or whatever the block not block but in this case top block dot block ID comma and then the largest vein size you want so anywhere between technically zero and this number so I'm just gonna do 18 so obviously this is not gonna be a rare or period <laughs> If you want to use, have a rare ore, have it a lot lower than 50. I'm just doing this so that whenever I go out and find it for you guys, it's a lot easier to find. Okay, so. Okay, so then after you import it, um, you want to put dot generate and then the world. Random X Y Z semicolon. And well, that's this part of it. Now we gotta move to the last part of it. In the tutorial class. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, so I'm just going to do this to be quick. Um, 
Yeah. Also, just make sure that it is registered after everything. So game registry dot register world generator <clears throat> wow and then the the new and your world generator class so And don't forget the parentheses. Then semicolon. And you're done with that. What? Oh my god. I did it again. So make sure that you don't have the world generator in the default class and that it's in your mod class I don't know <laughs> why I did that so just move it if you did do it like I did <laughs> continue and that fixes that so then if we go over here it changes the package just fine all right so then let's run this and try to find the w thing so I'll be back whenever I get to the main screen of Minecraft and here we are no I'm just joking okay seriously here we are so I'm going to go into single player I'm going to delete all of these worlds And then I'm going to make a creative that way I can quickly break through the blocks and then I will generate this world and no the sound is not distinct I, I really have an issue if whenever it does so it would not be that I just was talking slightly behind and now I'm just stalling because it takes a second for everything to build and other stuff um, yeah uh, for those of you who have, who have been watching it since the first day, or second day, or since the f third tutorial, uh, fourth, fourth tutorial, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sorry that this is kind of, this one's kind of overdue by, like, three or four days. Yeah. Also, I am setting up a new website. It's going to be the one that I just changed the link to but then I changed the hosting place from Weebly to z somewhere else <laughs> yeah but that's totally besides the point what isn't besides the point is that the world has just gotten done generated and now I have to look like a fool trying to find the ore we just created um, I guess next I'll do smelting because it still kind of has to do with the ores. And this is really slow Minecraft because I have Eclipse up and a lot of other things. Usually it's not this bad. Yeah, I have everything down. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to look straight down and just dig. And whenever it lags badly... And so obviously you can see here that the ore has just generated and um, oddly enough right underneath us. And you can see that there's a lot of them. So I'm going to keep going down just so I can show you kind of how frequently it is. Whoa. The odds of me spawning above the cave. Hmm. Okay. So. If you want a really rare ore, having the settings how I showed you is definitely not the way to go. Because as you can see, there are a lot of them.
There is a lot of them. Everywhere. In this cave. <laughs> I mean, but this is great if you're, like, trying to make a stone that, like, drops smooth stone. And it looks like smooth stone, except slightly different. You know, that way, you know, sometimes they get cobblestone, sometimes they get smooth stone. It'll just be something to for them to look forward to. Okay, so, outro scene. Yeah, I really need to, like, open up Blender, which is what I'm using for video editing. And actually use it for a good outro scene. But, until then... If this video tutorial helped you at all, please give it a like. If it didn't, well, then use the other one. If you want to see more by me, well, subscribe. If not, I probably won't see you again for a while. Oh, well. They always come back. So I'm told. Oh, who am I kidding? They never come back. Alright, I'm just talking crap now. It's 2109. Bye.